Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Milan at Infinite Life and welcome back to another studio setup video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Elgato's two microphone arms, the Elgato Wave Mic and the Elgato Wave Mic Arm LP. And we're going to see which one is the best for your setup and which one I'm going to be keeping for mine. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I prefer a clean, subtle look, and I never liked the idea of having a mic arm come up and over my monitor and blocking my screen. So when I first learned about the LP version of the mic arm, I figured it was a clear and obvious choice. But I figured, why not test out both and see which one I like best and which one works best in my setup. So full disclosure before we start this unboxing and review, Elgato were kind enough to send out both the Wave Mic Arm and the Wave Mic Arm LP for me to test out. And at the end, I will get to keep the one that I like and I will be returning the other. So big thank you to them. If you know the name Elgato, then you know that they are well known in the streaming community for their capture devices, like their latest HD60X and their Stream Deck, like this XL model. I first learned of them when I was trying to find a microphone for my YouTube voiceovers. Now everyone knows that the Shure SM7B is the king of mics when it comes to YouTube, but the $400 plus price tag was just way out of my budget. I was originally going to go with a Blue Yeti USB mic, but I was drawn away from it after learning how outdated the model was, so my search ultimately led me to the Algata Wave Mic 3. And in my current setup, I'm having to hold the microphone in my hand, and that's limiting my creativity potential with the microphone. So a microphone arm is well overdue. So why are there two options when it comes to Elgato's mic arm, and what is the key difference? Well, it's pretty simple actually. The Elgato Wave Mic Arm is a traditional over the top over the monitor mic arm and the Elgato mic arm LP and the LP stands for low profile is designed to come out from underneath your monitor and up so definitely a more subtle hidden design with the LP versus the traditional mic arm. Alright so let's go ahead and unbox both of these microphone arms. First we'll start with the Elgato wave mic. So right on top we have the instruction manual. Right here in the center we have the actual mic arm. We will come back to that in a little bit. Here is the desk clamp which is nice and solid. The clamp has a fairly large footprint which is great to help prevent too much force and tension on a small surface area of your desk to prevent damage. The screw has a nice feature which allows you to turn the handle inward by pulling down and rotating it so it's not sticking out from beyond your desk. We also get a 6 inch riser if you need the additional height for your mic arm. So one end goes into the desk clamp and then the actual mic arm will connect into the riser if you need it. Otherwise, the mic arm will go straight into the desk clamp. Next, we have a counterweight, which is used for lighter microphones, like the Wave 3. This will help counterbalance the pistons inside the microphone arm. And this counterweight is actually quite heavy and solid metal. Lastly, we have the mic arm itself. Now first impression, the build quality is really good. It is made out of plastic, but a nice high quality plastic. If you are familiar with Elgato's other products, you are familiar with the quality of the materials, so there's no surprise here. And as you can see, there's a caution strap as well. Because this mic arm is spring-loaded, so once you release the strap, it will extend outward. So be careful when you do open this for the first time. Now let's take a look at Elgato's mic arm LP, their low-profile mic arm. Once again, we have the instructions. Next, we have the desk clamp, same as the one that came with the traditional mic arm, so no difference here, same features. So next, we have the microphone arm itself. You don't get the six inch extender, which makes sense because this is meant to be low profile. Lower to the table, so having an extender just doesn't make sense here and no counterweight with this design either. And that's about it with this unboxing of the LP. Now both of these microphone arms retail at $99 US, so they're both pretty comparable, and you're not breaking the bank for one over the other. Now the setup for both of these mic arms is really easy. First, fit the clamp to the desk, then each arm fits straight into the desk clamp and you're pretty good to go when it comes to the assembling of these mic arms. The ends of each of these mic arms comes with a ball mount, which gives you a 360 degree rotation and adjustability, which is not common in microphone arms, so the versatility of these arms are great when it comes to that. Now the ball mount comes with a quarter inch screw at the end of it, which will allow you to attach the Elgato Wave 3 or the optional shock mount directly to it. With both the Elgato Wave Arm and the LP, you get two adapters. One is a quarter inch to three eighth inch and the other is a quarter inch to a 5 8 inch adapter. So you're pretty well covered when it comes to using microphones with this arm. One of the great features of the Elgato Wave mic arm and the mic arm LP is the built-in cable management system. This helps keep your setup clean and wire free, but the way each one does cable management is completely different. The Wave mic arm uses these integrated channels with these rubber covers to hide the cable through the arm. Just pull back the cover, run the microphone cable through, and then press the cover back on. The cable management on this arm compared to the LP is not as easy, but is definitely sturdier. 
but this is one of those situations where you'll set it up once and then forget about it. Now with the MicArm LP, it uses these magnetic covers and you can thread the cable through for your cable management. These covers have large openings at the end, help you support a larger XLR cable. Now I'm using the USB connector, so the cable I thread through is not very thick, but even with that, I do notice that the cover pops out of place at times when I'm making adjustments to the position of the microphone. It would have been nice if the magnets on the cover were stronger to help keep them in place better. One of the major differences between these two mic arms is how the microphones are supported. The Elgato Wave mic arm is supported with spring-loaded pistons and uses the weight of the microphone and the optional weight to balance the arm. Attaching the counterweight is pretty easy. Right at the neck of the ball joint, you just slide the inner thread of the weight around the neck and you're all set. The LP model is based off of tension in the joints that can be adjusted with an allen key to make the arm movement more loose or stiff. So for a heavier microphone, you will definitely need to increase the tension in the joints to make sure it stays in place against gravity. It's really easy to dial in the tension for the microphone, and the usability is definitely a nice feature there. The range of motion for the Elgato Wave mic arm is one of the great features of this boom arm. The over-the-monitor design makes each arm segment really long, so whether you're having it reach over your monitor or attaching it to the side of your desk and having it reach across, this allows the Elgato Wave mic arm to have great range and positioning placement in your setup. It definitely has the advantage in vertical range, so you can definitely use the microphone arm in a standing position if needed during a recording session. And don't forget the additional riser that comes with the arm for even more height and clearance if needed. Now the LP also has really good range when it comes to placement of the microphone, especially along the horizontal plane. The lowest joint connector of the clamp only has horizontal movement going from left to right. The central joint also rotates left to right but right above it there is also a vertical joint which allows the top of the arm to point in a vertical direction which is absolutely great. This allows you to reach your keyboard from underneath without hitting it and possibly standing during your recording sessions which I think is a nice addition to the LP. So even though this arm is meant to be low profile it's got some verticality to it which makes it come in really handy. The movement and placement with both the microphone arms are really good. You can pull and push and turn the microphone into the desired positions and it just stays. No need to make micro adjustments or minor movements. And more importantly, you just know that your microphone is safe and secure and it won't be damaged. Now these microphone arms were designed for just that, microphones. But with the quarter inch screw thread, that allows for a lot of versatility as to what you can attach to the end of these arms. For me, I'm able to attach my iPhone clip using the microphone arm for a top-down shot. So this isn't actually the intended use of these microphone arms, but definitely a great additional use situation. The regular wave mic arm is actually better in this situation, as the arm comes from above, so there is more clearance and the arm does not get in the shot. With the LP, raising the arm too high to do a top-down shot, you will start to get the arm in your clips. Alright, so ultimately, which one did I go with? On paper, the LP seemed like the clear and easy winner to me. The low profile meant cleaner look and it wouldn't block my screen, and the magnetic cable management meant easier setup, and with one of the arms allowing for that vertical movement, the range of motion was also very versatile. So why am I picking the traditional Elgato Wave mic arm over the LP? Well, it comes down to versatility in my setup. Although the LP is low profile, it wasn't low profile enough for my setup. I was hoping to have the microphone arm come out from in between my two monitors, but unfortunately it sits too high in my situation. I would have to raise the height of my gigabyte monitor for clearance, which is not that big of a deal, but then it would not be in line with my iMac monitor. And from an aesthetic standpoint, that was the deal breaker. Unfortunately, the iMac monitor cannot move up and down. Also, the magnetic cable covers with the LP were not a big problem for me, but they did still pop off from time to time with my use. And if I decide to move to an XLR microphone in the future, I'm worried that this will become more of a nuisance at that time. With the Wave mic arm, I know that the cable is securely tucked away and will support the XLR cable with no issue as well. Lastly, it came down to the versatility and one thing I did not expect that would sway my decision. The Elgato Wave mic arm allowed great top down shot and the range that it could provide in other situations in the future as well. The LP just did not allow that same type of versatility. And with the Wave mic arm, I can easily tuck it away up and over my monitor when I don't need the microphone and bring it out when I do. Look, at the end of the day, both the Wave mic arm and the Wave mic arm LP are great. It really does come down to which one will fit your setup the 
the best, and the only way to find out is by trying them both out. I'm very happy with the addition to my setup and look forward to incorporating the Wave mic arm in my future videos and setups. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, taking a closer look at the Elgato Wave mic arm and the mic arm LP. If you have one of these mic arms, or if I have helped you make a decision, leave the name of the mic arm in the comment section below, as well as any questions or comments you guys may have. Please remember to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel if you are enjoying the content that I am providing to you guys. Follow me over on my other social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And with that, we will see you in the next video.